viewers, P. Wall Park here. So I do a little quick little B log for you today. It has been hot here in Georgia. We've had no rain to speak of. We had maybe just a sprinkle. It wasn't even enough to get wet. Certainly wasn't enough to benefit the flowers and trees around here. All my flowers been wilting. I had to water everything today. I don't want to stay out here too long, but I'm definitely going to stay here long enough to do my little vlog for today. Most of my viewers know I share stories with you from time to time. And uh, today's no exception. I've got a story for you. I was watching a fellow's videos on YouTube, the country house gent over in the United Kingdom. He was telling a story about how when he was a kid, and a teacher that hit him or struck him in the face one time. And it brought a story of mine to mind. And I'm going to take this opportunity to, to tell it. In fact, I'm going to name names. My story occurred in Oak Alley, Florida, which is in Brevard County. Let's see, I'll have to do some calculating. I graduated high school in 65. So 64, I was in the 11th. 63, I was in the 10th. So it was in 1962. I was in the ninth grade at O'Galley Junior High. The first year of high school for us was in junior high. So you had to have 24 credits to graduate from high school. Um, and I graduated with 22 credits, and I'll get to that in a minute. But the first part of my story is relating to a teacher when I was in ninth grade. Um, so our freshman year, uh, O'Galley High School, we were in O'Galley Junior High. I had this teacher named Mr. Wells, W-E-L-L-S, and he was a math teacher. He was also a bit of a crazy person, a fanatic. If any of your children ever come home and tell you a teacher was mean to them, better pay attention. There's some real wackos out there call themselves school teachers. Now, I don't mean, uh, Teachers had to be no, put up with no troublemakers or uh, there was plenty of times where I got a spanking with a paddle and I understood it. Uh, but that was, they weren't being mean. They were just handing out their punishment. I've even been to the principal's office and got a whipping, paddling. I wasn't no angel. Well, in ninth grade, uh, I encountered Mr. Wells. He was uh, crazy as a bit bug. Now, like I say, you had to have uh, 24 credits to graduate. One of those credits had to, or one or two, might have been two, two of those credits. I don't remember, two or three had to be math related. Well, this joker taught math, and his assignment every night was to take home, oh, I don't know, pages and pages and pages of and subtracting, multiplying different math problems. Well, I got enough of that in school all day. I didn't need to come home and, and do 10 pages of math problems. I had other things to do. I was in a local drum and bugle corps, had to go to practice, had to get in my other activities, fishing and hunting and sports. So I did he wanted you to put it all in a notebook and bring it into class and let him check it out. Well, I did that for a while. I did several pages of his math, but I found out it was taking like three or four hours a day of my evening, my valuable time, as I've already spent all day in school to do that math. Well, I was quite capable of doing the math, so I saw no sense of, of doing more. 
So I didn't do his stupid little workbooks. And as a result, he failed me. Um, I passed all the tests, all the tests he gave in class, but he gave me a failing grade because I didn't do his stupid little homework assignments. Well, let's get back to him being mean. One day we're sitting in class, and, and I honestly and truly was daydreaming. I, I was in the outer limits somewhere. My mind was not with him. He was talking to the class, and all of a sudden I realized he was speaking to me. And he said, what did I say to you? Uh-oh, uh-oh, he didn't ask me a question and I wasn't listening. Well, what can you say? Uh, I have no idea what you said. What I said was, I kind of shrugged my shoulders like this. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you said. But when I shrugged my shoulders, he turned about three shades of purple, come racing across that classroom. And I'm sitting at a desk, you know, the desk is right above your lap. You're kind of pinned in that that this, the only way to get out is to slide to the side and stand up. He comes flying across that classroom and says, don't you ever dare to shrug your shoulders at me. All I said was, I don't know. It made him mad as a damn morning. He turned three shades of purple. When he got to me, he put his arms around my throat and was choking me, literally. I couldn't hardly breathe. And when he lifted me up, he was lifting my whole desk up. It was catching me around the waist. So I started pushing the shovel and trying to get him to let me go. Well, the whole class is looking like, what is wrong with this damn fool? And he choked me for a good minute or two. I finally got loose from that cell of a gun and slid out of that chair and headed for the front door. Where are you going? I said, I sure as hell ain't staying here. Out the front door I went. I'm walking down the hall, going towards the direction of the school office. He opens the door and said, come back, come back. I said, no, sir, I ain't coming back. I went straight to the office. I was mad by then. I said, I don't give a damn. They paddled me, spanked me, whatever. I'm not going to let nobody choke me. <clears throat> well, when I got to the office, I told them what was going on. I said, I'm down here because that man choked me. They got on the speaker and told him to come down there. I said, right, you can get him down here all you want. I'm not going back to his classroom until we talk to my daddy. My father was bigger than I am now. He was a big man. And that teacher was just a medium-sized man. He wasn't all that big, probably 5'8". He might have weighed 170 at the most. My father ran somewhere around 300 and something pounds. My father happened to be home that day, and I called him, I said, I need you to come down here to this school. Why? I said, well, the man tried to choke me a while ago. Well, the principal and everybody else, you know, they're dumbfounded. They're sitting over there. What the hell are we going to do? We don't got a situation here. Well, my father came down, and went in, they went in a room and talked to that guy. I think, basically, my father told him, if you ever put your hand on my kid again, I'm going to come down here and cave in your damn skull. And I'm not playing with you, fella. Well, from that day on, he never put his hands on me again, but he sure did fail me. So, I hated his guts. At the end of the year, he said, don't you ever take algebra. You're just too stupid. You're stupid. And I, all my other classes, I had like an A and a B average. So I failed that class that you had to have 24, 22 credits to graduate. And I graduated with, you had to, you had to have, there's 24 classes, but you had to at least get 22 credits to graduate. And I made it by the skin of my teeth. And the teachers, if any of your kids tell you the teacher was being mean to them, you really should pay attention. Really didn't want to go back to that man's classroom, but he never, never did try that again. But the other class that I failed, in case you're wondering, was world history. 
in this world history class was in it was the year Kennedy got assassinated. It was in the tenth grade at Melbourne High School. This guy taught, I don't remember his name, he taught world history. The most boring subject I've ever encountered in my life. Well, I learned right away in high school, if you want to pass, and you pay attention in class, everything that's going to be on any test you ever take, they're going to cover it in class from one time to another. So if you're paying attention, you're probably going to pass that class. But this guy had his own set of problems. You'd notice right away when you come in this classroom, he had all the girls sitting to the front of the class and all of us guys to the back. It's where he could watch the girls. I noticed it right away that he was partial to the young ladies. And they learned real quick, if I sit up here and smile at Mr. Jones, whatever his damn name was, I'm going to get a good grade. It don't matter if I know anything, if I'm stupid. He's going to give me a good grade. So they bit up, bat their little eyelashes at him, and it was just all he wanted was to flirt with them girls up there. And here he was, a, I don't know, probably 35 year old man. All the boys in there were lucky if they got a D to pass the course. The girls all got A's. I can't believe a school didn't pick up on the fact that he was failing all the guys and passing all the girls. I don't know whatever became of him, but he was definitely what you might call some kind of weirdo. Unless my other teachers were outstanding. I did not take it personally if I got punished by one or if one was strict with me. That was from elementary school all the way through my 12 years of schooling. I understood. I had a father that would would be quite strict with me. I, I understood the teachers had to hand out their punishment. One of them teachers is acting crazy or stupid. Pay attention to your kid. Uh, I was no angel. I did my share of doing things to get caught and get in trouble. But I knew when I was being abused, and I didn't like that very much. Anyway, listening to the country gent tell his story brought my story to mind. You know, Mr. Wells, his family must have seen anything about me speaking of him. And I'll be plenty happy to discuss it with him. I imagine he's probably a hundred years old by now if he's still alive. Don't you ever take algebra, you're stupid. Well, what did I do? The next year I went and signed up for an algebra class. Had B's and A's all the way through the year. When I went to register for school, uh, I don't know, 10th or 11th grade or 11th grade or whatever, I saw Mr. Wells sitting over there amongst some other teachers and I went over there and told him, you know how you told me not to sign up for any algebra or difficult math class? Well, here's a copy of my report card from last year. How stupid do I look with these B's? All I ever got from you is a damn D or an F. But I got a little bit of satisfaction in sassing him a little bit. There wasn't nothing he could do about it. Not much of a vlog today, but I'm listening to Country Gent's story. I thought I'd share that with you. I imagine many of you have had cases where you encountered a teacher or somebody else in a professional manner that, that weren't quite so professional. Nowadays, teachers are more liberal-minded. They're brainwashing you kids. You gotta watch out for that too. Brainwashing you, to some, brainwashing the kids is some liberal way of thinking. But I won't even get into that right now. Uh, I appreciate you listening to my talk. I appreciate you listening to me talk today. I'm gonna get out in there and watch the Braves come on in a little bit. Had to go out there and lower my 
trail camera at the water hole today. I went out and changed the disc today to see if anything come during the night, and I realized my camera was too high. It wasn't even pointed down there at the water hole. So I lowered it down to about two feet off the ground. As soon as I capture any wildlife or critters out there at the water hole, I'll be sharing it with you. Thanks for tuning in today. This is P. Walpars here. Y'all have a good day.